The doctrine of justification is the most important doctrine in the entire Bible. The doctrine of justification is the gospel. Therefore, I'd like to take a few moments to share with you an important text from the Apostle Paul, and then I would like to share several important points about the doctrine of justification. Paul said in Romans 3, verse 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Several points to examine. Number one, the author of justification is God. The Bible never teaches that one can justify himself because they exercise their so-called contra-causal or libertarian freedom. The Bible also never teaches that one can be justified in the sight of God because of their works of supererogation. The Bible never teaches that God foresaw who would accept or deny him and then he elected them on that basis. The Bible teaches God is the author of justification, and he declares the elect to be justified in accordance with his eternal and immutable will to the praise of his glorious grace. Two, the grounds of justification is the righteousness of Christ. The righteousness of Christ refers to his perfect obedience to the law and his substitutionary death also referred to as his active and passive obedience. When Adam transgressed the law, his sin was imputed to all men without exception. But since God loves his elect, he imputed their sin to Christ, and he imputes the righteousness of Christ to the elect. Therefore, the grounds of justification points to the completed and saving work of Christ, or his perfect obedience to the law, and his substitutionary death. This is the righteousness that God's elect will trust in as the only grounds of salvation and assurance of salvation. Three, the instrument of justification is faith. Faith is not a human work. Sadly, False teachers believe that their faith is what saves them. Faith is a work of God, not a work of man. Faith does not precede regeneration, and faith does not merit the Father's favor. Faith is a gift that God gives to his elect after they have born again, which unites them to their vicarious substitute and savior. Christ Jesus. Point number four. The source of justification is grace. However, the grace I am referring to is not prevenient grace that Roman Catholics believe. And grace, which I am referring to, is not universal grace that Arminians affirm. The grace I am referring to is the particular and efficacious grace of God that is given only to the elect for whom Christ died. This is because God chose the elect, Christ died for the elect, and the Spirit seals the elect. Grace is an expression of God's eternal and unchanging divine character. God is grace. Because God hates the wicked, God cannot look upon them with favor. Therefore, his grace is only applied to those for whom Christ died. There are some today who believe that God's elect were justified in eternity or at the cross. But this is not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that God ordained the justification of the elect before the foundation of the world. 
but God's elect are not justified in eternity or at the cross. God declares the elect to be justified in time when the Holy Spirit spiritually circumcises their heart and applies regeneration to their accounts. These doctrines I have shared with you are non-negotiable. They are essentials of the Christian gospel. Please note, false teachers, papists, Pelagians, and many others who hate the gospel of Christ will try desperately to pervert the gospel of justification, or they will say things that disparage the completed and saving work of Christ. The gospel is the power of God into salvation. God chose the elect before the foundation of the world. Christ died for the elect, not the goats. And the Spirit applies regeneration to those that the Father had given to the Son. Praise God for the doctrine of justification.